But we begin this afternoon with growing tensions at Gross Point North High School, where many teachers stayed home today to send a message to the district. Thank you for joining us at 5. I'm Glenda Lewis. And I'm Alan Campbell. The message from teachers comes after one step down, following a disagreement over an updated COVID policy. The district says too many kids were in quarantine. Our Simon Shaykhat talking with parents at the high school and shows us how the district and teachers union are now looking ahead. A lot of parents are expressing frustration over classes being disrupted today here at Gross Point North High School, and this comes after many teachers decided to take the day off. I'm frustrated, but I can I can see both sides. Concerned that we're going to lose our teachers, that this is kind of a taste of what's to come if things don't change. We've learned many students were taken into the auditorium today at Gross Point North High School to sit at distance tables after teachers failed to show up in the classroom. It comes after some notified the school they would not be coming to work today. I believe that they are mad that it went from six feet to three feet. Each teacher has said, See, see syllabus of what we're going to do for the rest of the week. So clearly they're not planning on coming back. It's just so sad. I'm sad. This also follows a heated Gross Point Board of Education meeting and a resignation of Sean McCarroll, a well-known teacher and lacrosse coach who was critical of the board's rules. They need to listen. They need to listen to the teachers and the concerns being brought to them. McCarroll said eased restrictions are compromising safety, although they do follow federal guidelines in many ways. A new resolution passed reduces the quarantine period for anyone testing positive from 14 down to 10 days and reduces minimal distancing from six to three feet for in-person education. We uh, are covering for 116 teachers today and we believe this is a one day event. We're going to get through it today and it's going to be OK. We got to go back and uh, figure out what we need to do to, to make it better. In a statement to students and parents, the district superintendent expressing his disappointment with teachers who stayed home today, but praising those who did come to work and help to navigate the day. But the head of the teachers union is telling us. At our Monday meeting, what we asked for was to return to hybrid for two weeks. But, you know, this was not a union activity. This was something that we, as I think professionals, at times might need. Coming up at six, what students have to say after having their day disrupted here at school today. For now, from Gross Point Woods, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News. Simon, thank